I feel low key safe because I know that he's not going to do anything to me as of right now. Can you stop trapping me in rooms, bro. Oh my f good day, good day, good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Shazaraz, and today we are playing what is to be the final episode of the popular series Fears of Fathom. Now, if you are a longtime subscriber to this channel, you're probably going to be thinking, Chaz, where's the other two or three episodes that you didn't play? And the answer to that question is, I watched other people play them first. Uh, yeah, I never got around to, to actually playing them because that was um, when they came out. It was at a time when I was doing a lot of other things, but I wanted to hop onto this one the moment I learned about it. So sorry if you would like to see the other episodes. Um, I can't really record them now that I watched other people play them because that just ruins the authenticity and I can't really be jump scared by things I've already seen before. I just wanted to tell you that and without further ado, let's get on with the video. All right. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. The moment I heard about it, I thought I have to play this. I really enjoyed the two that I did play. So, let's hop straight into this, shall we? Episode playtime is two hours. Damn. All right, let's take this guess because I am more than slightly below average IQ for the for a regular person. Two and a half hours. I wonder if there's anything different about this one to the other ones. Here's to Fathom episode five. Woodbury Getaway. December 8th. Oh, we don't even get an intro this time. We're just popping straight into it. Needed a coffee to get done with the day. Is there other people in the office with us? Rainbow sheets, company amount. I don't know what we are, but it looks like we're a accountant. Like I said, I really needed a coffee. Yeah, yeah, we get it, we get it, we get it. Well, there's people down there. Okay, well, where's the coffee at? It's a pretty view for an office, so you didn't land too bad of a view. I mean, like a cubicle job sucks regardless, but at least you can look out the window. As much as I wanted to leave and need a cup of coffee, oh, I don't know where the coffee machine is, bro. I'm just looking for it right now. It's like there's someone else around here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna expect that there's gonna be someone else. Keep my bag of chips with me for self-defense. Need to prepare a coffee, a cup of coffee. My hands are full. Fine. Loud ass bag of chips, bro. Ah. Oh. How many cups can I? Hopefully there's no security cameras here. Hopefully I don't get fired for this. An infinite amount of cups. <laughs> Just fucking cups everywhere. <laughs> what about espressos? I don't abide by the laws of physics. I can spawn infinite espresso cups and coffee cups. Bow down to me. There we are. Needed. Bruh, who didn't fill up goddamn coffee machine? I grab a cup first. Fill this up with water. Pour that in there like that. Why are we fading to black? We don't need to fade to black. Just, just make it disappear. Stop fading to black. I don't like that. That's, that's just not necessary. Good old cup of joe. I'm, I'm backing up against the wall here because I don't like this. Why do I need a lid? Okay, just in case they, someone comes around the corner and makes me shit myself, I guess. Where are the lids at? It's just another cup. I don't want another cup. Cream. Oh, add cream. Let's go. Where are the lids at? They're like, oh, I need a lid, but, oh. <laughs> Shut up. I don't want to hear it. Needed to use the restroom. We just got coffee, man. I'm going to take my coffee to the pisser. Sounds like there's somebody else working here. Can I see them? My only friend? Hey, man. What do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. I was just checking to see if you needed anything. I'm just trying to be a nice co-worker and, you know, see like, oh, you know, you need some help with anything. Can't these clients ever make up their minds? No. What keeps you here so late again? Uh, just finalizing the report. All right. Well, I don't know what your name is, but hello. We go to the women's. Are we a dude? Oh my God. I haven't done anything yet. Why am I washing my hands? We should probably not be in here. I don't even, are we a dude or are we, are we, are we, are we a female? Oh, we are a female. All right, never mind. I thought Sid was a dude name. I'm just thinking about the sloth. Game of the year? Why is there a bar? Hey, dude, get the fuck out of here. This is the woman's bathroom. <gasps> you fucking knew it, you son of a fucking... Mm. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I'm sorry, ma'am, I didn't know you were in here. I knew you were in here! You knew. You could hear me pissing like I was frying chicken in there. You just wanted to scare the shit out of me for no reason. 
I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet at this hour. You know what? You're working late again? Yeah, well, you young folks sure do put in the hours. Make sure to take care of yourself. You too, I guess. <laughs> Creepy ass motherfucker, dude. Oh yeah, I didn't know you in here, but as soon as you open the door, I'm gonna come sprinting like a like a new saying bolt. What do you want? Are you phasing through that fucking door, cuz? <laughs> Don't forget to take breaks, ma'am. Don't forget to not break the doors, bro. That's 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 like that's 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 so mean putting a jump scare that this early into the game. Like that's just uncalled for. <laughs> Art. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's my desk. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm still carrying my coffee. Uh, hello? Hey, Orp, it's Mike. Hi, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Two hours? Bro, I was not shitting for two hours. What are you talking about? Yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> Uh, oh no, this guy sounds like a fucking... Oh, you know what this guy sounds like? He sounds like a fucking pick-me boy, bro. Like, oh No, it, it even cut out a, on a client earlier. So he's not even he's not even a client. He's probably a co-worker or a friend. And he's like, um, I was like, oh, that's good. I was starting to think that you were ignoring me. <laughs> I'm such a bock. Like, oh, jeezums. I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, I'm um, just kidding. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. I work an office job. We're always being held back. They wheeze if I ever worked an office job, but I haven't. And uh, work's been overwhelming lately. Damn, Art, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Mike, take the hint. Take the hint. If she has nothing to say after that, which she doesn't. Sorry, but you're embarrassing yourself here, Mike. Um, about our trip. Did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. Wait, we're going on a trip with this guy? Oh my gosh, this guy is going, he's the murderer. He's gonna kill us. He's 100% gonna kill us. I'm gonna find it, we're gonna, we're gonna talk to a nice guy where we're out and he's just gonna get jealous and he's gonna, he's gonna kill everyone. <laughs> who the hell, who the hell is Nora? We're gonna do it afterward. No worries, Harper, I don't wanna stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. All right, I'm getting to it, Mike. Hey. Hey! I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. No, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. This guy is trying so hard. Sure, man. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Please do. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. Oh, what? When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. I just, I want to hang up so bad, but that's so mean. But, okay, sure, I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. Man. It's just like the good old days. It'll just be like the good old days. Bro, you're trying too hard. Stop, man. It's making me feel uncomfortable. I'm not even a woman. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. I'll cut you some slack, Mike. All you right. seem like an okay Talk guy. Alright, bye. Why my harp? I thought my name was Sydney. Master got me working. Hype Invader. Oh, hell yeah. Game inside a game. Gameception. What's this? Uh, uh, cat, uh, agree. Dude, I, I suck at typing. I'm so slow at typing, so I'm probably gonna die doing this. What the? Dude, I'm so slow at typing. I'm already one shot. No. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm stressing, I'm stressing. What? Uh, uh. Bro. All right, you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm doing this, I'm doing this again. Is it the same words? Nope. No. I fat fingered. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Uh. This is why we put an overtime at the office. All right, doing well so far. I'm just kidding. We're half HP. Uh, what? Ah! Oh my gosh, you got so close. I hope no one- I hope my boss is not behind me. Uh... 
Fear, yep, that's what I'm feeling right now. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, she was about to get me. No! Oh no. Wait. It's glitched. You can't hit me, you suck. You're so bad. Let's go! I'm so good. I'm so good at typing. I was not staring at the keyboard the entire time I was typing. Alright, what am I supposed to actually be doing? <laughs> um... That's not what I typed. I'm getting scammed. Oh, okay. I see. I'm supposed to be renting a cabin. Um, I just like. <laughs> I just fucking swiped my hand across the keyboard. Uh, search. What's this? That's 359. Private cabin in Woodbury. That's 99. I'm is there any other places though? There's only one place. The murder house, probably. Fishing, TV, kitchen, garden, Wi Fi, and parking place. Sure. Could we really be booking this from our work computer? I mean, it looks nice enough. Kind of weird how this place would be under, like, would be $99 for a night. This place seems to be more lavish and more kind than any of the other places. I look at the reviews. I look at the reviews. I'm about to get scammed. Oh, that was it. Didn't even need bank details. Now we get this part. Take my camera out of the way for a minute. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of story of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. Sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was constant, was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth. Maybe let's, let's just, let's just put me, let's put me down here. We didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. Yep, that's an office job. The job paid well, sure, but the expectations of my mental but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to a rural, to a, to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. A few days later. Oh my gosh, please don't tell me you're Mike. I don't want to fucking have a holiday with you, bro. Oh, you're not Mike, thank gosh. Do you ever answer the phone or call anymore? Call me, I'm off work now. Yeah, I'm hitting the way, pulling into the parking garage now. Are you downstairs yet? Yeah. I wanted to answer the call. All right, the code is 5176. Call me if you have trouble getting it open. Have a safe trip. All right, so that's something we have to, we got to remember. Got my suitcase in the elevator. No, 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 no. I didn't know I had my suitcase here. <laughs> Why are we carrying it? Why, why are we carrying it like this? It clearly has a handle and probably It's got wheels. Why are we carrying? Why are we hugging it? Hey, dude. Are you Mark? Art. Hug. Oh, not <laughs> Sorry, I just I really like the way I really like the way people smell. <laughs> That's still how you hug people. What's wrong with the way I fucking hug people? Why do you hug me like you miss me? Such a pick me, dog, bro. Just a test hug to see if you <laughs> if you smelled. <laughs> Can confirm. You're a little bit musky. <laughs> Fair enough. But for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. All right. Give a chuckle and give him a long hug. That wasn't a very long hug. You look good. I, I don't like any of these. <laughs> I don't like the vibe that you're giving me, man. The way you look, you sort of look like something's going on in your mind. Thanks for picking me up. Wouldn't have it any other way. It'll be nice to have company on the way. This old truck brings back so many memories. I'm so sick of them saying, it'll bring like old times. It, let's have some memories. Like, bro. Right, this bad boy has been through a lot. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Okay. I don't know. I still don't know why I'm hugging the fucking thing. All right then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Where's Nora? Two meters there. I mean, I guess this is only a truck for two, but all right then, Harp. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I didn't know we could phase through like that. What if I like, what if we just leave it? <laughs> no, 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 I need my, I need my pepper spray to be around my, and my taser. He's giving me bad vibes. 4.26 p.m. And so how long were we on the road for then? It looked like it was nighttime already when we went down to the car park. Starting to snow. It's so peaceful and nice. Oh. 
scared me a little bit because I went to go click on the bubble head. <laughs> this is actually a gift from my coworker Ricky. Oh, it was to do with the bubble head. He said he found it at a garage sale and it reminded me and it reminded, reminded him of me somehow. I can see a little bit of resemblance. I don't think it's the cowboy spirit, I guess. Too bad I don't get to drive this time. I definitely would not have gone headfirst into traffic. Uh, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college and now we are here. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. Damn, so deep all of a sudden, bro. We couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Maybe we just didn't know how much the real world would, you know, suck sometimes. Real. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? You got a new one, eh? Oh. Why did we look at that? You see that? I didn't see it. What did we see? I was too busy looking at this guy. See what? There was a school bus by there by that old house. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of Oh my gosh, words. You know, someone's idea of turning into, turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. You sound like a 45 year old. Jeez. Oh snap. So cringe. That was close. You know, I read on the internet that it, in Native American lore, Oh my god, American lore! Live Nights at Freddy's! Uh, seeing a deer across your path is like getting a message from the universe. What's the message? He's a dumb animal. <laughs> what? This is nice and peaceful, you know? Like he, like if this started, I would not think I was playing a horror game. Or one that's gonna make me shit myself. How far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, Driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. I wouldn't go that far. What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like the stars and galaxies rushing past us. This guy must have definitely watched Interstellar recently. Kind of beautiful. That's what I was just saying, bro. That's what I was just saying. I wish it snowed here in Australia, or at least where I live. I know in Australia it snows in like some parts, but doesn't here. Way too hot for that. By 14 p.m. That's like, it's like just under an hour, I think. Or just about an hour. Okay, is this Woodbury? Oh, oh check that out. What are we checking out? Cops? What's that? Moe's Pizza? Delivery available? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. This, 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 this is where we pick up stalkers. And this is where... You are going to be the reason I die. I died over some fucking pizza. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. Damn, that's like, that's crazy. That's not, that's like, that's like how GPSs work. Like, what? It's like living in the future. So hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too, that's a vibe. All right then, Harp, Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to leave. This guy has to manage some Discord fucking servers or something. He's definitely a Redditor. Nah. You could just not have the fucking, like, airport ambience to make things, like, weird. Come on in, Hop. Thank you. I talk to people. How's your day going? Who are you? I'm Sydney. Look, Sydney. We just here to enjoy our pizza in peace. Thanks for understanding. How's the weather out there, Phil? Oh, it's so cold out here. I mean, I guess. I mean, I, I guess. Hope you enjoy your meal. I was gonna be like rude, bitch, but you know, I did just come up and talk to you out of nowhere. That's pizza. Well, my dear, you absolutely can't go wrong with the pepperoni here at Moe's. Every bite reminds me of a story. So what brings you to Moe's? Just passing through. Made a good choice stopping here. You come here often? My dear, I've been coming to Moe's since 85. <laughs> I've been coming to Moe's since 85. This place is full of memories for me. Though my daughter, bless her, she tries to keep them. Get out of me, dog. I'd rather not be inside of a someone. Bro, get, get out. Have some personal space. 1.5 meters. <laughs> my daughter, bless her, tries to keep me from eating too much pizza. Bad for a man for my age, he says. He worries too much. 
Thank you for getting out of me. I only have one of these heavenly slices about twice a month now. Well, it was nice chatting with you. Safe travels to you and your friend. I didn't tell you that I had a friend, but I guess he would have seen me come in. But your back was turned. But I guess I was talking to him. That means you're being nosy. I'm paranoid as fuck right now. <laughs> he seems like a nice old man. I I hope it has nothing to do with him. It's going much better now after this pizza. Thanks for asking. What about you? Where are you headed? We're on our way to a conference in the next town over with my buddy here. We just stop to eat whenever a place looks interesting. This place definitely has a cozy vibe. Best decision of the trip so far. How about you? Local or passing through? We're just passing through. Interesting. Why? Um, I better get back to this pizza. You have a safe trip and, and be care in the snow. Being careful. Enjoy the pizza. Talk to all the NPCs in the pizzeria. Bro, some of these people have weird ass vibes. <clears throat> and you just don't even want to talk to me. How are you doing, my friend? Not too bad. You? I'm as good as a man can be, my friend. Another just gentle old man, hopefully. Trying to grab a slice? No, just looking for a little help. Okay, maybe I can help you. Maybe you can, but you go on and get some pizza first, eh? Maybe we'll catch up later. Alright. Why did I offer my help in a game where it's notorious for people stalking you and shit? I'm fucking dumb. Move, man! Watch where you're going! Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You find folks know what you want to eat? We'll get three slices each. Okay, I'm not from America, but as far as I know, like, if you grab a slice, them motherfuckers are big. They're like, am I made of nothing? Why do people just keep passing through me? I mean, yeah, they're sure your body is 99% empty space, but I'm not that, I'm not that empty, bro. And for you, miss, uh, let's get pepperoni. Uh, margarita sounds pretty good. And probably another pepperoni. I'm, I'm a... I'm a sucker for the pepperonis. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us. Just a pizza today, thanks. Get out of me, bro. All right then, six hot slices coming right up. That'd be twenty-two fifty. All right, I'll pay. Not gonna be like, oh, you're a man. You're supposed to pay for the woman. Gosh, that that would get to his head too much. You probably pop a stiffy if I said that. Go to number is twenty-seven. Just grab a seat, and then we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. No worries. But you, mate. Do you have any recommendations? Get the cheese. Just the cheese. I didn't get the cheese, sorry. Can I go exploring? Or do I have to sit down with the moik? All right. No funny business, all right? <sighs> you smell like lilac and gooseberries. <laughs> it smells so good in here. But, oh, I'm also taking a look. It smells like shit. Is it you? We're on the road, no, let us know how you get going. I, I want to listen to the audio, please. Oh, you guys are going to hit. Never do that again. Nora. <laughs> no. Hate me. I swear I'll get on the road as soon as I can, but something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it, and be on my way. So you're saying we are like almost there. We're, we're, we're like fucking five hours into a trip and you haven't even left yet? Elf friend, by the way. Don't worry, please be careful. I hate it that you're leaving so late. Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. Did you just listen to Nora's voice messages in the group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. Why the dot dot dot? He's saying it. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. Why does everything you say give me like the willies? What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Please don't, man. Order number 27, folks, coming right here. This, he is going to be the reason that we pass away, all right? Ugh. Fucking creep. All right, folks, you're all set. Got two pepperonis. Damn, 
him. I didn't know I was playing a smart game. What the fuck? Soggy crap ass pizza, bro. This pizza slaps. It sounds like it. I can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb ass pizza. They know, right? Hey. Must be good. You know what I like to think about right now is that someone had to record audio for that and they just sat there with like fucking just eating something in a mic. <laughs> like, bruh. Damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust. I need a tire. <laughs> I was hungry enough. <laughs> Bro, real. Fair enough, but eat someone else's tires. We've still got a bit, to, <laughs> a bit of driving to do. That was a very, that was, all right, that was kind of funny. I'll, I'll give him that was kind of funny. Damn, I kind of want pizza now. Oh, I feel like you're eating my brain. Hey there, my friends. Oh, it's the guy. That, it's the guy. Saw you all pull up driving in that nice old truck. You're just watching who pulls up and taking notes. All right, I'm not going to be rude because this guy hasn't done anything yet. So that's right. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Oh my gosh, hitchhiker. Literally the second game told us never to pick up hitchhikers. And what are we doing in this game? About to pick up a hitchhiker. We kind of deserve to die. Seems like we might be going the same direction. You don't even know where we're going. How can you even say that? Don't mind if I hitch a ride with you. Where are you headed? Just headed to where the road takes me. I'm a bit of an adventurer, just hiking the trails and seeing the country. You're a serial killer. What do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down to that snowy road? <laughs> I don't know what to do, man. Like, if I say yes, I'm begging to be killed. I'm well within my right to say no. I'm kind of curious. We even have a we don't even have another seat for him. How is he supposed to ride with us? This like this is only a two-seated truck. I'm not sure. So you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll even ride in the bed. We would give you a ride, but there actually isn't any space. It seemed to be very cramped in there. You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space. I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? What's going on with the ambience? What's going on? Sorry. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Restraining order, now. Who do I got to contact? Restraining order right now. Are you threatening us? No, 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 y'all got me wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired as all. Yeah, thanks. Nah, hell nah. Well, that was weird, no shit. Didn't even order anything. I do feel kind of bad, but like, after all these years, you're still the same old heart. After all these years, you turn into a fucking creep. That's the reason why the game takes two hours, is because we spent half an hour eating fucking pizza. This was perfect fuel for the last leg on our, of our trip. I'm gonna burp. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I probably shouldn't have burped that anymore. Everyone. <laughs> Now, where's my, where's my jar? Where's my jar? We'll put it next to your bath water. He just didn't say shit. Oh damn, I can't burp again. Holy, that was good. All right then, are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Give me the keys. Why don't you drive part of the way home? I'm gonna drive so you can get a break. Take a break while I drive. Michael, damn. Why am I being such a sassy bitch? I'm gonna drive so you can get a break. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're gonna give me, Harper. This man just called me bad at driving! Bitch, we haven't even seen each other in a while, uh, from as far as I understand. Give me the keys so you can go. Fine, but there's one condition. I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Heal. That's alright, we driving now. Can you stop? Let's go. Do I get to actually drive? 5.49pm. Oh, it wasn't even that far. Oh yeah, I get to drive. Hell yeah. I'm such a good driver. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I was on the left side of the road. Shit, I forgot we drive on the right side. We drive on the right side here in this game. So slow. Hell nah, we booking it. Where's the fucking nitro in this thing? Don't beep at me, bro. I'm driving perfectly fine. Oh my gosh, I just had a thought. What if that guy is just sitting in, our, in, is just sitting in the back of the truck somehow? <laughs> I told you driving in the snow is no joke. I didn't see it! I didn't know there is no way to t there's one way to take the scene scenic route. Shush, Michael. I was out of practice with driving. No, I wasn't. 
You're just, your expectations are too high, that's all. I'm just a girl. <laughs> Can I say? It's kind of a vibe though. This is why I wish like it snowed here in Australia. If I ever go somewhere, it'll probably be somewhere in, like where it snows. All right, we're in Woodbury. Now where's the house? I drove past it. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. There's no directions. Where's the, where's this GPS? The state of the art GPS you were talking about, huh? Where's it for me? Oh my gosh. There we go. And this should be it. I thought you were just gonna keep driving there. Well, I kind of did. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was gonna make a comment about me with the, the, the honking. It was very cold. Oh, damn. Lightning fast. I swear, if this guy, like, has like, the double jointed motherfuckers that can fit in close spaces and he's just fit inside the suitcase or the esky, I'm gonna freak. Let's go in. I really need to. Let's just hurry up. Hop. I really need to have a. Really need to spank the monkey. Uh... Oh my gosh, what was what was it again? Uh, five one seven six. There we go. A lockbox. Nora's gonna jump scare and be like, "Hey, I made it before you." What a great place. I know we can count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right. I really need to hit the John. Don't hit John. What did he do to you? While I'm gone. You put these groceries away. Should be in enough space in the fridge. Sure. I'm gonna go spank the monkey in the john. What do I do with my uh my suitcase? Yeah, let me Oh, uh, he got he got first choice of room, so I can't even put it. Alrighty-o! Alright! Got like what three we got two milks. Some oranges, I think I saw. Each farms and bell peppers. I thought that was jerky for a second. Lettuce, frozen yogurt. We should probably put that in the freezer, shouldn't we? Alright. Oh, no, put the milk back. Oh my gosh. Hello. Ooh, sorry about that, Hop. You okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. Hang on, I really need to pee. You can go ahead, I'll just start unpacking up eggs. Thanks. You better not have dropped a fucking Hiroshima 2 in there. Oh, alone time with pizza. <laughs> I really did. I really did. Really did a number on Mike. Hi, we've checked in. I'm currently pissing in your toilet. Can I type that to him? Currently. Raining the dragon. Actually, no, we're not we're not a dude. We can't say draining the dragon. Currently draining the No, that, that's <laughs> that's kinda of fucked up. I hate to admit it, but I didn't wash my okay. Too busy trying to be a dumbass. I'm good, want to check out the house. Sounds good. What were you doing? Stop! Stop doing that. Stop doing that to the door. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer after you. Okay, well, let me just wash my hands really quick. Cause apparently, I don't want to be a grotty bitch. Are you just like gonna follow me around? Okay. Well, that place is already lit, which is. Oh my gosh, I wasn't actually expe ex expecting to that to do anything. It was bigger than my apartment. Turn that off. That sounds like it's actually going to give me brain damage. It's on the floor, by the way. I forgot about this mechanic. I'm gonna play some games. Hey, yo, you got games in your cupboard? Bro. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be trapped in there. I was gonna be like, ain't no way, bro. Better not be someone in here. I'm gonna... Bro, fit. I feel low-key safe, because I know that he's not gonna do anything to me as of right now. Can you stop trapping me in rooms, bro? Oh my fucking gosh, cut. Who in the hell are you and where did you come from? Bro just spawned out of the ether. What was that? Scared us. Oopsie daisy didn't mean to. Oh, nah, 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 man. Nah, nah. Welcome to my home sweet home. I already want to leave your home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, no, no. We're just friends. Oopsie daisy, silly me. Oh, are you Rick? We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier and I remembered the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Same dude, speaking of that, now that you folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. We're already doing that right now. 
be a bad owner if I didn't give you a grand tour. Right from the start, his presence makes us uncomfortable. Yeah, no shit. Here's your shower. The thing makes you feel like you're breathing, breathing bathing underwater, under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Are you trying to sell it to me? Like, why do you sound like a marketer? Oh, that thing doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry, I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other side of the bedroom. This is cute. Look, Harb, this room has a nice ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. I want to look at the view. Are you coming, miss? I'm trying to look at the view, bro. Oh yeah, great. A view into another house that has a window looking directly at me. That's not fucking suspicious at all. I'm already calling you bullshit, bro. I mean, this is nice, I guess. Holy smokes, this is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> this man, this man does not get out at all. Incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. Great spot for fishing too. All right, folks, let's head back in before I catch cold here again. Here's a storage room. You need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. Um, if the power goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Actually, it's on my left because I already picked it up. Storms like these, you never know. Thanks. I'm not gonna say we might not need it. We're definitely gonna fucking need it. I already know what's gonna happen with this. All right, folks, let's head downstairs now. Damn. <laughs> Catch my good side. Alrighty, folks. Already stocked the fridge with some tasty food. Speaking of winter, better show you folks the water heater. Why is, is everyone phasing? Oh, no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. We don't have to go here. I actually don't want to go. This is like a basement and shit. Y'all, y'all can... can. I just lock the door. <laughs> just lock the two most creepiest motherfuckers in this whole game. In. What is this about? Do you want to? Do you want to talk about this old man? I'm kicking that door down. Gosh, that's not menacing at all. Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. Pilot light will fire right up. You'll be back in business. You gonna show me what's in there? Hey, so what's the deal with this room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. Kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Well, I was just curious. Stop looking at me like that. You look like an oblivion NPC, bro. That's a that's a fucking that's a that's a no good angle. I don't like that angle. No. Did I mention? Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. Well, I bought this house from. Well, told me his mother died down here. Why would you tell me that? There's no reason to tell me that. You're just gonna make me. You know. Oh, where's my refund? I want to get. The Fuck out of here, bro. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. They said they could hear someone, something snuffling around down here. No, I'm good. Let's go somewhere else, man. I can, I can probably book another cabin that's like literally right next door. We don't have to go here, bro. Not to scare you folks, but if I were, in, if I were one of you, I really wouldn't step down here. I didn't want to in the first place. Don't gotta tell me twice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, you got games on your phone? <laughs> <laughs> right, Michael Jackson looks in your faces. <laughs> Come on now, I'm just joking. Were you? At this point, the creep meter was quietly pinging at six out of ten. Yeah, no, I can 100% agree with that. Alrighty, folks, no starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road. Now I gotta find that damn cat. Your cat's probably frozen solid out there and probably dead. Bro, look at my fucking cat, yo! What the? F <laughs> Thanks for showing us around. By the way, there's always a by the way. What was the name of the booking? Must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ah, Sydney, that's right. That's a pretty name for a pretty girl. Ooh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Don't look at me like that. Just me, or is that guy super weird? You know, not very weird. Alright, let. Uh, oh, bruh. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick shower. Cool, if I find something to watch while you're in there, let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. Better not be watching me through a CCTV. I right, take a. I'm gonna take my flashlight with me. I was keen on taking showers, a shower upstairs. We didn't have to, you know. 
No. Stop with the ambient music. What? What? No. No. Okay, that's TV. Can I turn this one off? Thank you. If he, if he just like fucking appears out of nowhere again, I'm gonna break the fuck out. Alright. Bad doors. We're just going in here fully closed, huh? <laughs> I like taking a shower in my clothes. I like to wash my clothes and take a shower at the same time. Something's not right about this place. Okay, am I clothed? Maybe like, I didn't think of putting on clothes before going downstairs. Hello? I got the door open. Oh, okay. I don't like this. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I'll check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Planning to catch dinner. Now that you mentioned it, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. Can we just like not leave the confines of our house? You know, I'm all about I'm all about I'm all about risks. I'm all about adventure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed, so we, we can both can give it a shot. Let's just let, let's just let's just, let's just close that. Wanna grab the other fishing rod up? Yeah, just give me a second. Bro, I just got here, bro. Oh snap, I saw a killer receipt. Damn, I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. I need to catch three carp, though. So, you up for the challenge? Sure. It'd be pretty good for a trip, not gonna lie. I'd probably have fun. I enjoy fishing, I wish I did it more often. But I don't have a fishing rod. And cast. I'm gonna do it over here so I don't cross the street. Never mind. Oh, a little mini game. I don't know how to play the mini game. Right, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. I'm such a pro, man. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. Who says that? I hope we don't fish up like a human head or something like that, because that would that'd be kind of fucked up in about that life. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Call me the call me the savant. Right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Oh yeah. Common carp. Alright, three out of four. Let's let's do like let's do like one more. We'll keep it. That way if he fucks up the recipe, at least we have a spare backup. You better be banging at cooking carp, bro. You wanna impress me? You're gonna impress me with your cooking. Alright. Why is the basement open? While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. Salt, black pepper, thick, less ginger paste. Um, paprika, we need olive oil, extra virgin, just like Michael. <laughs> we have yogurt. Yeah. Made the marinade. Am I throwing in the, do you mind throwing the fish in the marinade in the, in the casserole while I chop the veg? Marinade. Damn, that was loud. I, th I don't know why, but for some reason I thought he took his shirt off. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. Ah, uh, which one? Just grab what I catch your eye. I wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I kind of threw one at you earlier. No. Oh, I already know that there's gonna be something at the fucking window, bro. Let's not do a Ouija. Let's let's just do anything else but that. Let's play chess. Michael! Not feeling that one right now. Huh? So I can't wait to see what you pick. Just pick something that catches your eye. Fucking chess. I like chess. You're just a dumbass. How about Catopoly? I don't know. Maybe something with a bit more suspense. You're going to make me pick the fucking Ouija board to try and contact the- Oh my gosh. I'm going to try literally everything else. How about this? Uh, unravel the secrets and immerse yourself in mystery. This one could be suspenseful. I'm not feeling that one right now. Oh my God. I don't want to do the Ouija board, bro. You're going to make me do the fucking Ouija board. There's a Ouija board. That's going to be a good idea. Oh snap, is that a Ouija board? <laughs> my God. Hey, remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this? We, this is, you, you just don't do this. You just don't do this. This is how dumbass people like you end up dead. I just, I want to say nothing. 
I didn't say yes, bro. I just said no. This is this is just the worst idea. This is just a bad idea. This is the, this is the worst idea I could ever think of. You know what? Make this even spookier. What now? Let's turn the light. Let's turn all the lights off. This if see if this thing really works. Sorry, I just have to stay over here to get away from the absolute stupidity that this motherfucker is spouting. He wants to turn all the lights off on a weed in a Ouija board in a basement. Your stupidity knows no bounds. I hope you understand how much I would just hate having a friend like this. If one of my IRL friends said, let's do a Ouija board in a basement where someone supposedly fucking died, I'm I'm unfriending you in real life. Oh well that's not fucking creepy at all. He's gonna get fucking kidnapped. <sighs> I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. We're gonna start, bro? All right, then you go first. The, why are we looking over there, by the way? <sighs> no, 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 we don't need to be looking anywhere else. Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? Hi. This mother, is this motherfucker moving it? No way, are you moving it? That wasn't me. It kind of was. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? I said buddy. Hey, be respectful. This dude is moving it. I don't know what that spelt. What is going on? What is your name? Ma. Mpuma. I might be speaking to a disabled ghost. Bro's name is Mpmam. What? Come on, buddy. Stop calling it, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not usually one to believe in ghosts or spirits. Yo, don't just leave me down here, bitch. I guess I'd be lying if I didn't feel uneasy that night. What even just happened? It's freaky shit going on down there, Harp. That was weird. Weird part is that you ditched me, <laughs> yeah. What the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass too. It'd be nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of fight or flight? Yeah. Called being a pussy. <laughs> Bro, you look stupid. This delicacy is Gosh, very this popular. fucking loud. After I don't like this show. Cocoa beans. Ah, uh, yes, the cocoa beans need to be blended into Don't the make sauce. that noise ever again. Ah, oh, that was some damn good fine food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. It was really good. Make a good team, huh? Hey, anyways, can you check my emails real quick? I my laptop upstairs. But we're taking a break from work. Not work, I'm waiting for shipment details for my new DS. What year is this? DS? Aren't you like a 34 year old man? I cannot wait to turn off that fucking TV. Oh my gosh. Yep, this is how washing dishes is. Just run it under the sink. And why are you taking so long to wash two plates, gang? Am I just gonna go visit him upstairs? Michael. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? Ex fucking excuse me, what? No, uh, what the fuck do you want me to do? I'm not fucking Wonder Woman. Nah, oh, nah, 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 nah. Go make sounds and walk slow. How about you just like, just like. Dude, I'm so I'm braced, I'm braced. Oh, Michael, I already know what you're gonna do. Where are you? Oh my fuck. Holy shit, bro came sprinting down that fucking hallway. Nah, you ain't funny, man. You ain't funny. Nah, you ain't funny. What the hell, Mike? I totally got you. You know, shit. That was not funny. That was fun, wasn't it? Not cool. Come on, it was just a joke. It ain't gonna be a joke in a minute when I fucking hit you for one, man. Fucking next time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post mark. Better game of hide and seek. I hate this guy. I hate this guy. I hate this guy. I'll get you back for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. All right, you're on. I'll count to 10. 
I don't know where to hide, bro. Side behind the basement. That's like the worst place to hide. Why is everyone in horror games such dumb asses, bro? Oh man, not this shit again, bro. Huh? Fuck. Alright, my turn to hide now, and you better close your eyes and start counting. Uh, I fucking shouldn't have said anything. This is this is this is just a bad mechanic. What? Two. We're going through all. I'm coming. Pause. Bro, I'm gonna find this motherfucker and he's just gonna be like, Oh, I got you again. Oh, I got you. Nah, 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 nah. I can see you in there, bro. <laughs> At least turn the fucking light off. Hang on, Hop. I think I heard something upstairs. Yeah, it'd be very funny, bro. This time he might, not, he might not actually be shitting. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it. Sliding up where? You asshole. See this attic access door in here. What, you want me to go fucking- Have a look at it, bro. Like, no. Yeah, you're taller than me, why don't you go? I think uh, my shoulders are too broad to fit through there, Sydney, but one of us should really go. Where's this stool you're talking about? Hmm? Oh, there. I oh, know, I didn't even bring the fucking flashlight. Uh, yeah, at least I can turn the light on. Is that Putin? <laughs> okay, that didn't scare me as much as I thought it would. Hey, it's, isn't that the missing cat? Oh, you're so adorable. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. Oh, I love you. Please don't kill me. Oh. Are you okay? What was up there? Looks like you aren't the only pussy in this house. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I just saw it. It was just a cat. <laughs> that's fucking real, bro. Oh, that's a relief. I was right there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Maybe we can give her one of the cop after I come find you again. I decided to hide in the basement. Oh, I'd hide in the tool shed in the backyard. This is this is not gonna this is not gonna go good at all. We're going outside the house. You chose the two worst places. Outside the house and the basement. That's like the two worst places. Why is there a ladder? What? I swear that wasn't there before. Nah, man. Nah. Nah. Why is there a ladder up there? Man, nah. Uh, is this man like sniffing me out or some shit? That's, is that Michael? That's not Michael. That does not look like Michael. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Ah. Uh... No, I'm getting tired, bro. I'll hide in the house. We'll head it back anyway. I mean, we'll go to bed. But we really gotta close my eyes again. <clears throat> I'm gonna find this motherfucker dead. It glitched the game for some reason. It thinks I'm holding a hook. Arr, I'm Captain Hook. Fear me, the seven seas. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? No, oh, fam. No, 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 no. Oh gosh, I'm. I don't like this at all. Hide and seek is like the worst possible game you could have decided to play. Michael. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I'm gonna bite my fucking tongue off. Did this pussy decide to hide in the attic? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh no, no. It's gonna make what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my gosh. It wasn't even the guy that scared me. It was my own fucking scream. Scratch and bited himself in. That's what that banging was. Why the hell are you back here again? Fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? Yeah, I do have a problem with that. Hiss? You be hissing at me? Oh, by the way, we found your lost fucking cat. It's my house. I need to check in with you every time I need to fix something. You kind of do since we're the ones living here temporarily. Never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. Fix many faucets yourself, young man. 
Didn't think so. I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need. Not a fucking hammer. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. Heard anything before that? Must have been the old lady, remember? He he he. Oh my god, I'm gonna... Blitzer! Blitzer! This guy, bro. Anything you could fix this tomorrow? Yeah. They asked me to leave, miss. Kind of. No, Rick's being polite. We rented this house and we would like it to have it to ourselves. We don't really want another... I don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Okay, that's... That's a bit much. And no cops in Woodbury, son. And they're gonna arrest me. Arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet. It was just doing some work. Can't handle that. Your problem, not mine. You know what? Folks don't like me fixing the faucet. I'll leave you to it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something up about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird and but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. You have an extreme lack of awareness in general! Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just join myself. I'm going to... Kill Mike myself. The stupidest person of the year award goes to. By this time, I was feeling really tired. Decided to get some rest. And this is where we die. 11.39 p.m. What? No, 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 no. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Sleep paralysis demon? I really want to answer this fucking door. Hey, man. Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Why do you, why is it every time you appear, you're like a fucking anime super villain? I don't like that. You mind if I come in and like talk to you about something? Fine. And I feel safer with another person here, even though I think that you're more as, you're just as likely to kill me. I'm just saying I get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. Hope Nora is okay. You'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry, I'm here to keep you safe. Hey. Hey, it's not a problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? No, no, no. He's gonna confess his love to me. And he's gonna fucking kill me. What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This was exactly how I thought our getaway was going to be. Gonna go, Sydney. It's been a strange day. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does own the place. <laughs> You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. Then just barge in the place whenever he wants. He rented the damn house, that is true. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. I can guarantee you, he's not harmless. Uh, you've also been a little difficult to deal with. <laughs> nah, unnecessary, me too. It'll help we both get some sleep. Fuck off, man. Get off my bed. Can you come sit by me, Sydney? No, oh, nah, nah, nah. You could like, we could just like not. You could just like go to your own bed. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. That <laughs> was just the frame and everything. <laughs> you know, I've missed this. Nah, here, here it comes. Here it comes. I'm gonna stop you right there, son. I don't know how to break it to you, but I'm gay. <laughs> He's definitely the type of guy go, oh, you like women? Me too. <laughs> Us just talking, it's been too long. You know, you don't, ha you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Sorry, but I kind of want to. Would you be doing this if Nora was here? Mike, wh where is this coming from? Please don't come in and lean in for a kiss. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I kind of don't. I do remember it really well. I remember it was being pretty awkward. Didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot to drink, things happened. So we did. Oh, oh. oh did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Mike, I, I don't know what to say. Let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. It's just not. It's never gonna be a good time. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my- um, guys. Stinking tire just blew out. Stinking tire. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. 
the snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? Give me a yeah, sure, alright. Helping a friend in need. The timing, huh? Guess can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in us both freezing our asses off. No, 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 no. Look, as much as I said that you're a creep and I fucking hate you, please don't leave me alone. Oh my gosh, please. That's the last thing I want. Am, are you sure? Am I fucking sure? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a twat. Let me come with you. Yeah, I'm sure you're in pajamas. I'm still dressed. Settle in and I'll help Nora. That's really nice, Mike. I'm always doing nice things for you, Sydney. Alright, maybe you can fuck off. Oh, please be careful. I, I kind of just want to like hide in the closet. Damn. Uh, I'll go back to bed. I have to go to bed without locking the front door. Okay, sorry, my bad. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Close the door, bro. Yeah, I think I'll crash for a bit. You should take care of yourself, lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. Sure. Oh my gosh, we can face through shit too. <laughs> we are all super powered people. See you, bud. I hope you feel shitty when I die. I'm getting some sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. I'm gonna... That's it. We're dead. We're dead. I'm gonna get some long ass fucking sleep. The forever sleep. I told myself things would get better if I just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up and I needed more... I needed to pull more my... <coughs> Nora always knew how to cheer me up and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. Oh, man. Oh my gosh, please. Okay, I'm begging for it to be them. Please don't tell me. What the fuck, I just let himself in again. <laughs> um. How about nah? I say, look, friend. I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind. I won't be here for two or more hours. The weather outside is getting pretty bad, and I was hoping you'd be a friend and let me in. Let me come inside to warm up. Just until my friends get here. Sorry! Nope, not happening. It's sort of like, just past midnight, and... I don't really feel like dying today. Sorry, but I can't help you. Come on now, my friend. If you're caught out in this business, I'll give you a warm place. But you, you don't have a warm place, so you can't even say that you would. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you fucking kidding me? You're not gonna let me. You don't know the face I do. I didn't even make you hike in a snowstorm. Should have known you'd be as big as bitch as you were back at the pizza. Oh, motherfucker! I knew it was the same bitch. Think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend flashing fishing to the creek earlier. I figured maybe you'd give give me a chance this time, but looks like you're still unkind. Get out! I'll call the cops. And no cops around here. Fuck this guy knows. Speaking of, I don't see a fellas truck out here. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Did yourself. No! 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 Nah, nah. Nah. Let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. I'm as a bitch, my friend. Y'all aren't me. Man, it all seemed irrelevant to how tired I was. You're fucking irrelevant. You're begging to fucking die at this point. You're just gonna go to sleep after that? Nah. What was it? Nah, he's- What the fuck? What was that? Nah, nah, nah. Nah. But I had no choice but to call for help. What fucking hell? I'm sorry to believe it came back home with someone. I remember driving down here, he was banging on the door and started threatening me. Very scared. You're moving around outside the house. Could you please look since you live close? Aww.
No, something's off, something's off, something's up, something's up, something's up, something's up. Ooh, something's up, boy. I don't want to go out there, man. I don't want to. I don't want to. Nah, this man's fucking like skin walking, bro. He killed, he killed my friend and now he's wearing his skin. <laughs> Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck. Oh, I ain't about to slap, I ain't about to slap. <laughs> Who is you? Oh, it's him. Do I miss? Oh my gosh. Thank. Fuck. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Why? That's like... Ugh! Oh my... I don't know why. Oh, by the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. He should be back soon. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Why is everyone that we meet here either a dickhead? An asshole or a fucking cretin. Nah. Wait, what are you looking at? Nah. Oh, I don't like <sighs> Sounds like this bring out all kinds of folks. All of them know when to stay away. Yeah, nah, this guy's. There's a man. There's another man in my house. No. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh. No. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Oh, the lady be texting you. Is who you talking to? Uh, it, it, it's my friends. They're almost here. That's so. Yeah. Uh. Thanks for coming by. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe we should stick around and make sure everything's okay. No, you do Um. No, you need to leave right now. What did you just say? This is my fucking house. I will leave what I want. Oh my gosh, I'm such a twat. Oh, oh hell no. Oh hell no. No, no, no. I ain't about this. What do you want? I want what's mine. This house and you. You're trespassing. This ain't your fucking house, bitch. Need to leave right now? I don't think so. It would be one of us. No, no, no. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? this and we just go kick to the main screen bro what was i supposed to do he was just like hammering the fucking door and why would you confront him what a this i must be a blonde like no way no way would i confront him like that and he's up in my face like yeah it's my house isn't it bro like stupid actually stupid i think I, maybe i just like run upstairs there's a there's a ladder in the porch. There's a ladder on the porch. If I just go to the, the porch decking. Oh my gosh. The window of the fucking living room closet thing. Oh, that's, that's it. I can't imagine what else there would be if I'm not allowed to go upstairs or run out the other door. That's that. That's my safe haven right there. He runs that way. I run that way. I either lock myself in there or I'm able to get out from the window. That's what I'm supposed to do. All right, all right, all right. Make a run for it. What do I... Can I get out the window? Hey. Well, I would die first in any horror movie situation just because I could fucking... The basement! The basement! That's where I'm supposed to go. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. So dumb. It's the basement. Of course I gotta go to the basement. I gotta hide in the little closet under the stairs. Run, 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 run.
Fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. Oh, Nora, you fucking son of a bitch! You bitch, you bitch! You bitch! Shit, the, 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 the door was broken, door was broken. Porch, porch, porch! I'm going to the porch, I'm going to the porch! There's a ladder, there's a ladder. Oh my gosh. I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I suck at games, bro. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he fucking blocked the door off. And he's blocked that off too, okay. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. I'm like just destined to die at this point. Where is there actually to go? He just blocked off all the exits. Nor decided to call me the dumb bitch. Can I go to the attic? I'll try going to the attic. door and everything mm. oh my gosh i forgot the door handle was broken sorry for being a below average iq individual <laughs> close the door behind you speed running speed running tactics speed running tactics you're dumb ass you're, you're a dumb bitch you're a dumb bitch you're a dumb bitch you're a dumb bitch you're a dumb bitch, you're a dumb bitch, you're a dumb bitch. where do i go from here Oh my god. Nora is a dumb fucking bitch. Where do I go from there? <laughs> okay, finally. Now what? Nora, I swear to god, if you call me again. What the fuck? Okay, well, that's awesome. I glitched the fucking game. Oh my god! I don't know what the fuck to do now. Oh my god, he's still not here. Oh my gosh, I think I think we're fine. Game, it would be so fucking shitty of you to throw in a fucking another jump scare right now. I hope you know that. It'd leave a bad review if you did that. Okay, went out the back door. Oh my gosh, there was no need for that. Stop staring at me like that. What up, cur? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. Storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. Of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in the cabin when it was not being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. The cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like after, after that. He didn't ask any more questions. We think, we think he knew more than he was letting on, but in the end he gave us a full refund. That's fair. I mean, he almost just fucking died. Oh. Survived through the fifth episode. Bruh, I barely survived. I died like 15 times. <laughs> That's why I would not be 
I would not do any good in any horror situation, because I'd, I'd fucking die. <laughs> Queso is in the game? <laughs> what? I just saw that. That was a really, really good game. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it the whole time. I felt on edge most of the time, and I feel like everyone that knew us was going to just fucking kill us. <laughs> no one felt like a normal person. Thank you for playing Fears to Fathom. You're welcome. Thank fuck that that's over. <laughs> Right, and that was Fears to Fathom. An utterly horrifying experience every single fucking time I've even watched or played one of those games. I swear though, every single one, every person that we met was just preying on our downfall. Like, I swear, the only semi-normal guy was the fucking guy serving us our pizza at Moe's. Like, that's... That's all, that's the only person that was semi-even normal. But I sort of hope he makes another lot of games, or at least, you know, something similar to this, because I reckon people would still like it, and I sure as hell would enjoy it. I would definitely play those. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you around here next time, once more.